pink pop makeup and high-pitched excited screams. Only a few things I felt embarrassed about growing up, yet I found myself having such hidden pleasures around. Guilty pleasures. Growing up a girl is being told, be a girl but don't be too much of a girl. Be feminine but don't look like you tried. Be girly but be okay getting dirty. Do one thing then the other. Don't be too feminine, don't be too masculine, be hot but pretend you don't know it. Be strong but let the man take the lead. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sure we all saw the scene in Barbie and there's a reason why it was so resonant. A few years ago, I put myself on a mission to get over my guilty pleasures and to rid the shame. For me, this mostly came up in music. I will always and forever love indie music. It is what I mainly listen to, but pop music? There is a weird shame around it. Even when I was young. I remember being seven years old and listening to Katy Perry in the car with my grandma. I turned to her and said, you know, I actually like this music. And she agreed encouragingly. But why did I feel embarrassed listening to that same music around my dad? Why was there such shame in something so fun, something so poppy, something so girly? The more my year of getting over that shame went on, the more I realized just about everything I had guilty pleasures about was just genuine internalized misogyny. Liking cute rom-coms, pop music, romance, gabbing with the girls, and just overall being expressive as a femme. Anything that was girly had weird shame around it. And I know the men in my life feel the same. They've had to get over internalized misogyny too when liking anything, you know, remotely feminine or just being emotional because the patriarchy affects everybody. The year I set out to embrace my guilty pleasures, I ended it with way more than I even expected. I embraced femininity in a whole new way and became the girl that I resisted to be, gladly.